Hello Southover School. My name is Maya Eden and I am your patina artist for Patina 2020. You are making history. We are making history. And you really are going to make history this year because you will be the one and only year, I hope, that will be a patina in a pandemic. Patina in a lockdown. So today I'm going to introduce you to the project. I'm going to tell you what your era is. And I'm going to show you some models of what we're going to make, some examples and a few other bits and pieces and give you an email address where to send drawings. So I'm going to get started. Um, hopefully you've seen the presentation now, which is very funny. I enjoyed watching that last night. And when I come, normally come into the school and do a brainstorm with you, we have uh, an envelope or something to reveal your era. So I'm going to do that now. But we always do a drum roll. So let's get started. Can I hear a drum roll? Keep going because I have to open the envelope. Drum roll. Dun dun dun. Psych over school. Patina 2020. Your era is Victorians. Yay! Victorians. Very exciting. So I've done a little bit of research and um, I'll show you what I do. I always have a sketchbook and I always do lots of random things. Hopefully you can see that. So I usually do a brainstorm and then I just do some very quick sketches. Victorians. What were they known for? Like fashion, obviously fashion wise. Um, top hats, tails, facial hair, all kinds of things. So what, I, what you're going to do is you're going to do some research for yourself. And you can do lots of research. You've got lots of time if you like history. Um, there's, it's good fun. You can look up lots of interesting facts. And in fact, I looked up some weird and wonderful facts about the Victorians. Not so weird, but I didn't know that 200 years ago, roughly 800 to 200 years ago, most people were illiterate. They could not read and write. And it was Queen Victoria who started what we now know as the school system where it was compulsory to go to school. I did not know that. So you can find out things and you can let me know as well. So I'm going to show you some images. Glamorous, top hats, big dresses, the men very dapper with their top hats and their waistcoats and fancy shoes, facial hair. They were really into weird facial hair. Swimming costumes. Yes, they wore dresses and um, pantaloons when they went swimming. Now the women wore these amazing crinoline dresses. So they were very sculptural, I love these. They went under their skirts like this and then their material went over it. So they're quite incredible. But they're also a bit wacky. And their hats, look at those. Crazy hats. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to send me some drawings. But first, I want to show you what you're going to be making. Bum, bum, bum. I know, it's a loo roll tube and some newspaper and sellotape. However, it is just a model. And I wanted to show you this for the size. This is the sort of size of something we're making. And we're calling them avatars. And with these, we're going to make a video of all the, so we're gonna have a virtual parade, 2020 virtual avatar parade and they will be dressed in your era obviously these are just models they're just the basis to show you the scale and the sort of things that we're going to do but I'm going to do another video in two weeks I think it is where I'll show you how to make them and how to dress them in your era so that's the sort of size so start collecting the roll tubes that's a cane from the garden all that kind of thing so you need to send me your drawings now, when I normally come in to the school, we're thinking withies, so we're thinking big. Now, that doesn't mean you can't think.
think big in your design. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think of all the things that I've showed you. They're really, and do your own research. Top hats, moustaches. We could have really crazy facial hair on these. Send me ideas about what you think it could be made of. Tissue, cotton wool that could be painted black, anything. Anything you've got lying around the house. If you've got an art box, great. But lots of you probably don't. So just make use of, just start collecting bits and bobs you think might be helpful. So what you can do is get a sheet of A4 paper and maybe draw four or five stick figures side by side and then just get some ideas. Print off some if you've got a printer. If you don't, just look on the internet or in books and just draw and exaggerate, exaggerate the top hat, exaggerate their facial hair. That's what we do when, we're, when we normally make them out of willow. So we can do the same thing with the puppets. And then we're gonna have an exhibition of the puppets. And, um, oh yes, I've got to tell you the email to send the, the drawings to. So if you've got a pen and paper, Southover School. Yours is patina2020, Southover, at gmail.com. That's patina, P-A-T-I-N-A, -A, 2020, southover at gmail.com. And I look forward to seeing your drawings in the next, I think it's in the next two weeks. I'll look at them all and I'll design costumes for our funny little avatar puppets, which are going to be brilliant. I might put strings on that so the legs go up and down. Good luck. Have fun with it and I look forward to seeing your drawings. Bye.